Hey guys, it's Ross Ratty. I want to make a video on really how to get a green thumb because I think a lot of people out there want a green thumb and I tell a lot of people what I you know, do for a hobby. I like to grow different fruit trees. Um, I like to garden. I like to have house plants and make my house look beautiful. Um, and people just are amazed because they're like, how do you have such a green thumb? You know, I was born I was born with a brown thumb. I kill everything I touch. Everything I touch dies. How many times I've heard that in my life after telling them the hobby that I, that I have? You know what, I think the reason for that, I think the reason why people have such a brown thumb, plants need a lot of, if you think about it, plants need a lot of different things. They need fertilizer, they need soil, they need sunlight, they need maybe a certain temperature. Um, Really the, mo the most basic thing that really all life needs is water. The problem with the plants needing water is that it's very easy to overwater or underwater your plants. You forget about it, you know, you go with, you know, two months without watering your plants. They don't, they can't speak to you. They can't, it's not like a dog that just immediately you open the door and your pet comes up to you and starts barking and they're like, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. You know, this is like, I mean, I guess you could talk to your plants, but you know, that, that's, that's a whole other thing where you can get into later. The point I'm trying to make here is that it's very difficult. And I think that a lot of people, when it comes to watering or really just growing plants in general, don't learn from their mistakes. And if you can learn from every time you kill a plant, if you can learn why you killed that plant, you're gonna get so much better the next time around and you're not gonna kill your plant. And you're not going to go to Home Depot or some other home goods place and you're going to get all these different plants. You're going to bring them home and you're like, oh my God, I got so many succulents. Uh, I got bamboo, I got a cactus and they look great. And I love my Pisilli and it goes, really does well in a corner. But a week later, a month later, they're all dead. And you're like, oh my God, again, I have such a brown thumb. What am I going to do? Okay, well, here's what you do. Here's the video. This is the video to solve all of your problems to get a green thumb this is it right here okay there's five basic soil characteristics of moisture this is number one it's called saturation So what I did was I just watered this plant. The soil is now saturated. The water is now coming out the drainage holes. Hopefully the water is draining quickly. This particular soil mix was given to me by a friend. The mix is not all that well draining. So as a result, the soil is draining slowly, as you can see. But the water is coming out of the drainage holes. Now, once the water is completely out of these drainage holes, the next degree of soil moisture is called wet. And this is just a wet, it's just a wet soil. It's just a um, degree of moisture that is after drainage. Then we have, if you look over here at a different plant that I have, you'll see that I've removed a lot of the wood chips and the mulch from this container and it reveals the soil beneath and this is a this is a tree i haven't really watered in quite some time and the soil is moist this is the perfect soil moisture that you want for growing your fruit trees or house plants or um, vegetables anything in a container this is what you want because it's going to give you the moisture that you want that your trees need but it's also going to not kill the roots of your plants because if this soil is too wet, if it's saturated and there is water just sitting in this container, not really draining out the bottom, but kind of just sitting there, this is not good for the roots of the plants and actually will kill the roots. It'll rot the roots and once the roots rot, the top of the tree or the top of the plant starts to die and then you have an entirely dead plant. Like we haven't talked about on the other side of the spectrum is dry. 
and not watering your plants, having a dry environment, so less than moist, is still okay. There's still some moisture in the soil. That's enough to keep your plant alive and healthy. But it's still not optimal because moist is the optimal. And then if it's completely dry, there's no moisture in the soil, that's when your plant is dead. So it's often that uh, a lot of people when they're first starting out and growing anything, whether it's a house plant or a fruit tree or a vegetable crop, in a container, they really struggle with finding that right balance between when should I water, when should I not water, or overwatering versus underwatering. I can't tell you directly when to water your plants. I'm not, I can't be physically in your living room and be like, yo, bro, you need to water your plant right now. Um, I can't I can't do that but what I can do is show you the soil characteristics uh, of when you should water your plants or when you shouldn't water your plants <laughs>